Hi everybody, welcome to What You're Reading, where youth services librarians from around DeKalb County talk about our reads during quarantine. My name is Fran and I am from the North Lake Library. Hi, my name is Angela and I'm from the County Line Illinois Library. Hi, my name is Nicole and I'm from the Harrison Crossing Library. And hi, my name is Mia and I'm from the Decatur Library. And this week, uh, as you may have guessed by the title, we are going to be talking about our favorite rainbow reads. It is Pride Month and ALA, the American Library Association, also has an initiative uh, that is makes it Rainbow Reads Month. So this week, we are going to be talking about some of our favorite books um, that have LGBTQIA characters and in many cases are written by authors who also identify that way. So, I'm going to start off. This is one of my very favorite books of all time. I love it so much. I'm going to try to keep it brief, but this is Radio Silence by Alice Oseman. In terms of representation, it has almost everything across the spectrum. Um, the main character is bisexual. Her, she has a, a, a crush on a girl who's a lesbian. Her friend is pansexual. It's interesting that it does define like the difference between bisexuality and pansexuality. She has a very close friendship with a boy in this book. There's no real romance in the book. It's really about friendship, which I appreciate. The boy in the book, Alad, um, has a relationship with another boy. He identifies as demisexual, which is on the asexuality spectrum. And also through a podcast he does, he explores his own sexuality. He never sorry, his own gender identity, he never comes out as a gender, but it's strongly implied that um, he may be a gender. In this book, the basic plot is it's about fandom. Um, Francis is a huge fan of this sort of podcast and finds out that Alad is the creator of the podcast, so she starts doing art to go along with it. It's really about finding yourself. It's about um, how the life journey of an artist may look different than someone else who needs to go to college for their profession. Um, it's, it's just fantastic. I would really recommend it. It's available both on Hoopla and on Overdrive. We'll have links below. Also, um, this, another one of her books is called Solitaire. Those two books are in the same universe. They're in the same universe as a webcomic that the author does. She both writes and illustrates this called Heartstopper. I have the paper version of it. However, this is available online completely for free. I'll put a link to that below as well. If you're not super feeling like reading a book book right now, check out Heartstopper. Um, it's a really good story as well and features some characters from um, this book universe. Oh, <laughs> okay, me. All right, so I am doing one that I've read a few years back. It's called I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. I love this book. I feel like your life isn't complete until you've read this book. I feel that so, too. Um, it, you, just, you just need to read it. The, the prose in it is absolutely beautiful. She writes. It, it's just, I, I, I can't, I, there's not enough words. So this is, you just got to read this book. It was also um, an honor book, a Stonewall, um, honor, Stonewall book honor award. And I'm saying it right, I don't know. So, and so it, anyway, premise, there we've got um, a set of twins, uh, a female, uh, a girl and a boy twin, Jude and Noah. And the first half of the book, is told from Noah's voice. And the second half of the book is told from Jude's voice. And they used to be really close twins and then they kind of separate as they become um, older teens and they go their separate ways. And it's all about them kind of reconnecting to each other as well as uh, learning about them, themselves as individuals. And Noah and Jude kind of, um, it, it's also about them um, learning and exploring their sexuality um in you know and um just growing as people it's a beautiful coming of age type read and I, I don't i don't know if there's enough words i'm just telling you if you see this in this video read it you gotta read it 
It's, re it's you, really good. Um, you got a convert. She ran up while you were talking about it. And she's camera shy. Okay, there she is. And she's a read it. She like, <laughs> learns how to read. She's going to read that. You. Yes, you yes. Can I mean, it's, it's really that good. Um, it is on a Libby Overdrive. It only has a couple of day wait. It's, it's not even a long wait on it. However, I've got one more I want to recommend. And the link um, will be um, supplied below. But it's Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe and it's by benjamin is it sayings i'm not sure how to pronounce Hellier, his last name. sayings my apologies sayings, yes it's and that's a beautiful it's a that one as well is well written it's two uh, mexican-american boys and they, they find each other as friends first and then they they fall in love with each other and um it's all about them discovering their sexuality and their love for each other and their love for their families and there's a little bit of bullying and some other stuff kind of thrown into the to the mix but it's it's beautiful and it's it's i cried i smiled i just you know it was warming I, the wait is super long but like i told you last week on a book that wait the wait for that one is worth the wait put yourself on hold for that book today and while you're waiting for that book read this one all right <laughs> yes those are two of my favorites too i'm so I'll glad that you, you chose to talk about cry. Just, too. you know i <laughs> i give all the love to the, the these authors Janie nelson and benjamin sames because they just they write like like you could feel them i just awesome love it thank you <laughs> okay nicole <laughs> right. yes so my read, I actually just started it. It is called, of course, it's not going to focus. Um, it's called Let's Talk About Love by Claire Kahn. And uh, it is a contemporary YA book. Um, I am listening to the audiobook on Overdrive slash Libby. It's about a main character. Her name is Alice, and she identifies as, um, as biromantic asexual. <laughs> Uh, and it's, it's her going through her life in college, which I really enjoyed about this YA. Not a lot of YAs take place in a college setting. So it's her um, interacting with her friends, her family, um, future romantic interests, um, all in this college setting. And it, was, it started out as a social published book on a YA site called Swoon Reads, and that's actually who published it. And um, the author writes on Wattpad and things like that. So uh, she has a whole lot of things out there, even though I believe she only has one or two books published right now. So I hope that you try it. Let's, let's see what you think of it. Uh, I'm about a fourth of the way through, and I have a feeling I'll probably finish it tonight. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, let us know down below what you think of it. Again, it's Let's Talk About Love by Claire Kahn. Since it is a book that takes place in college, would you say it's more appropriate for older teens? Or like, can younger teens read it? Like, what's your read on that early on? Yeah, early on, it starts out in the midst of a breakup. Um, it is definitely an older YA book. I would say um, older high school to early college would be the perfect age. So mine, I haven't finished either, um, but I believe Angela, you read it, and Fran, you're reading it now. Is that right? Okay. Yeah, I'm listening to the audiobook right now. Try this. It's called "If You Could Be Mine," and it is by um, Sarah Farazan, and it is in Hoopla. And this one is um, about um, two um, women best friends or girl best friends, I guess. Um, they're in their teens. And one of them is engaged, and it's about um, the one of them because in, it's in Iran, um, and women can be cannot be together romantically, but you can be trans is legal. So it's about one of the girls deciding whether or not she wants to become trans to be with um, this girl that she loves. And I don't know the ending; only Angela does. <laughs> yes, I can't. I have no spoiler alerts, but it was good. It was good. I would recommend it. Uh, yeah, the reasons behind it, whether she's doing it for the right reasons, and 
um, the choices that we have. And then the author, um, Bram was just saying, is actually also um, Iranian and a lesbian too. So you've got um, her personal viewpoint. So it's um, when you should try to check out also. And again, that one's on Hoopla. And that one is not in Overdrive, but if you go on our Overdrive and there is something you really want to read, um, just go ahead to, you can suggest that we are trying to um, get as much as we can. Um, we know you can't come to the library to get physical books. And if it's not on Hoopla, um, but you see it on our, um, but it's something you read about, especially there's a lot of links to books um, that you might read about, just go ahead and um, suggest it. Yeah. I will say like on, on that one too, like I think that the main character, like she knows that she isn't trans, but she's considering transitioning for a woman, you know, like to be with this girl, even though she understands that she doesn't feel like a man. So um, kind of just a possibly like a trigger warning for people who might be um, struggling with gender identity. If that sounds like something that you want to read or you don't want to read, um, that's kind of the journey that the character is taking in that. Yeah. Um, I like that book so much is the same reason I liked Aristotle um, and Dante. Um, it's because their love is like, it's pure and it's innocent and it's, you know, it, you can feel it. And it's, and, and that's why I like that book. And, and so I, I really think it's a great book um, for any age really, but, you know, especially for teens, I feel like, it, uh, you know, teens could easily identify with the characters, you know, so. Both of those, and not to put everything in terms of fanfic, but you, if you identify strongly with like friends to lovers tropes, like both of those are like right. A plus for you. Um, because they both have that, there was like, a, these couples started out as friends and then they yeah. fell in love and it just feels like this sort of yeah. and it feels right. And you should... I don't know how that one ends yet. I don't want to say happy person. I don't want to, I want so bad to tell you. <laughs> no, don't. Spoil alert. <laughs> find out soon. Um, if you are curious, that is available in ebook and in e-audio on Hoopla. Also, there were more recommendations than we were able to pack into this video. We are going to be putting some more of those below, some of our favorites, including this one, which is one of my very favorite books of all time, and The Cat's Back. So, <laughs> Want to call us out now? Okay. So um, we will see you next time with more recommendations. Bye. Bye. Bye.